my friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for the official unboxing of all of my stuff vlog. I don't know the more succinct way to title that, but movers got here and I've been trying to compile all the footage into one vlog. We have done a lot. We have a lot to do. I have a lot to catch you up on. It's going to be a really productive day and I'm excited because my goal is to get rid of all these boxes. <laughs> So I started a couple days ago and I have footage of trying to go through these things and um, I've kind of been taking my time a little bit, just trying to also balance work and everything. And then also as I've been unboxing things, I've been trying to wash everything. So like dishes, if they weren't really tightly wrapped, go in the dishwasher and I'll do a cycle before I load them into my cabinets because I found a cockroach and that really scared me. So everything was getting washed and then also any fabrics. So I had a load of blankets that just got finished. Next I'm going to do a load of towels. It's gonna be a busy day. <laughs> Welcome to my laundry cabinet area. <laughs> I have a load of blankets that just finished and they smell so much better. They smelled like Max. And I just loaded up all of my bath towels and all of my previously beach towels, but I no longer live near a beach. So I guess now they're pool towels. <laughs> And this video is in partnership with True Earth. I'm sure you've heard me talk about them. Let me just say this was so handy to have while traveling cross country um, because I knew I was gonna wanna do some laundry and I could just throw in a few of these strips and be covered for weeks with doing my laundry. They are based out of Vancouver and they have a lot of amazing household products. But my absolute favorite thing is their laundry strips because it's just genius. So this little piece of paper looking thing that I'm holding right here is actually two loads of laundry detergent. It's perforated. So this is one load of laundry detergent. It's brilliant because if you think about it, you buy the traditional liquid detergent at a store. It has some active ingredients and then a ton of water, but your washing machine adds water. So you don't need to be paying for water and lugging that huge heavy thing around. I do have a promo code, which is Mikkel10. It will get you 10% off of your order. I will have that in the link down below. Um, and a lot of people that are my friends from other countries are always like, Michaela, this doesn't ship to me, but I bet you there's a really good chance this does. They ship now to over 65 countries. It keeps expanding every time I work with them. They keep adding more countries, which is awesome. If you're a small household like I am, this is 384 loads. So this little box will last you. Let's see if I do laundry twice a week. Oh no, this mental math is going to be hard. Twice a week. It's 104. That's like three and a half years. Is that right? Wow, it's gonna last me forever. But wait, I also have this. <laughs> this is the platinum version. This is like heavy duty. I love that they're eco-friendly, hypoallergenic, biodegradable. Look, there's no plastic anywhere. Just cardboard and then the strips themselves, no additional packaging. And since you're not shipping a huge thing of heavy liquid, their carbon footprint is significantly smaller. I love the fresh linen. There's other scents. The fresh linen just smells so great. So thank you to True Earth for partnering with me on this video. I will have that information linked down below. I'm gonna start another load of laundry. Let me show you how easy this is. Just that. It's literally so easy. First, to catch you up on what you haven't seen so far that has happened is thankfully, so the movers came early, which is great because it's better to have your stuff early than late. Um, and my parents were so sweet. They just drove straight out here because <laughs> I was a little bit worried about making sure Max doesn't escape with the doors open, helping the movers, getting content all at the same time. So my parents came and I have some footage of unloading things. And then I have a little bit of footage of starting to organize my closet. We still have a lot of work to do there. So with that being said, I'm gonna cue all that so you are up to date. <laughs> You know what, actually, 
the lighting, because if my bathroom door is open, I still get the light from the window. This could be a really good spot for if I still get auditions and self-tapes. Could be my little self-tape backdrop. Wow, it's cute. It's subtle. It's cute. So I wasn't necessarily planning on doing this right now, but I was just kind of hanging up some clothes I just cleaned and some clothes I just got, and uh, there's no rhyme or reason in here. And I was gonna save this for like a whole separate date project, but I think I just want to kind of like organize what is hung where in here to try to make sense of everything. Um, one thing I've noticed is you can't really overlap on the corners too much or else you can't see things. So what I'm kind of thinking is clothes I wear most frequently along this wall. So like sweaters, shirts, and dresses and jumpsuits. And then doing jackets over here a little more tucked away. And I could do laundry baskets under jackets because at least over here, under uh, the shorter things, aka not dresses and jumpsuits, I'll hang jeans. And I just ordered more hangers to be able to fold and hang jeans because I don't quite have enough to do that because I had my jeans folded in the last place. So that's kind of the plan. I guess I'm gonna start grabbing jackets and moving them over there before I have space to put everything back over here. So um, cute little hyperlapse or something. <laughs> Okay, we have a vague plan. So much more to do. I still have this huge box of shoes and bags to unpack eventually, but this feels like progress. So I kind of did tops from warmest weather to coolest weather. So these are like really thick, chunky knit, and then thinner, like more cashmere type stuff, and then down to just long sleeves that aren't necessarily that warm. And then I got into like nicer short sleeves, like more blouse type shirts. And then the further back you get, the more casual it gets till we're at t-shirts. Then over here, it goes from jumpsuits to dresses and the dresses get kind of nicer as you go back. And then back here is coats. So I did like longer, nicer coats in the back and then it gets to like more athletic the further you move this way. I don't know if that makes any sense to people's brains that aren't my brain, but I'm like, yes, warm stuff, cooler stuff, nicer stuff, less nice stuff, less nice dresses, nicer dresses, less nice coats, nicer coats. Do other people's brains work like this? <laughs> or is it just mine? I feel so nice to not have my clothes so cramped in a little closet. Oh yeah, and then bottoms will go on this half of the bottom rack, and then this half I'm gonna leave open to easily access laundry baskets the plan. Now, the goals for today. I would love to get rid of all the rest of the boxes. Everything doesn't have to be in its perfect place yet because I'm sure that's going to take me a lot of time. I would love to just really organize every single space. So I'm going to have to probably go out and buy things to organize and containers and bins and all that kind of stuff. I think I want to do a shelf or two above the couch so I can display a lot of the decor I have. Um, and then I'm still missing some glass shelves for my cabinet to be able to display things in there. So not all the decor will have a home yet, but I would love to get rid of all of the boxes. Huge goal of mine today. Also would love to treat myself a little bit, fix these nails up. So I'm gonna see if I can just walk into a place and get that done. If we have time, possibly a Target run today. I have another huge Target list. Hold please, <laughs> let me show you. this is my updated target list. And I keep thinking of things, paper towels. So you keep thinking of things to add to it. So oh, I'm so tired of spending money at Target. <laughs> it's not fun anymore. 
So two boxes that I'd love to get done first because they're just bothering me the most are finishing all the kitchen stuff and bathroom stuff because I don't have access to any of it. And I didn't realize that there's no obvious place for spices in this kitchen. My last one had like that drawer that pulled out that had shelves on it. And the one before that had a tiny little skinny cabinet right above the stove. But see, this is plates and bowls. And over here will be all the glassware and mugs. This I'm doing cooking utensils because it's right by the stove. So I'm thinking maybe doing a spice drawer here. Don't know realistically how many spices will fit there. And down the line, I'd probably like to just get all uniform little jars with the cute little Pinteresty labels and make it all fit nicely. But that's gonna be something to figure out today. So I say, I don't know, are you okay with one more montage? If I cue a little kitchen unboxing moment, we're gonna have probably some good tunes in this vlog. Let's do it. Sleep won't come, and you've cried your song. Let it come to you. There's nothing you can do until I see you smile just below those eyes that tell me you're okay. It's written on your face. As you come to light, I come alive. Your silhouette in the summer sky. But this is only a matter It can only get better It can only get better And this is only a matter It can only get better It can only get better So, never bargain you for your waiting gold And this is only a measure It can only get better It can only get better and Okay, let's see what we have If there's any rhino reason Oh, 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 I think that's a lot This seems like mostly necessaire products and tanning. Just gonna set this in here. <laughs> this mm, is all skincare. Huh. I'm losing motivation real quick. This is all makeup I don't wear often, but is still good and new enough to keep. I don't have my vanity yet. <laughs> I'm gonna put hair tools in one of these and put them under the sink for now because they're really big and they take up all the space in the drawers. So in here we have my dryer, which I've really been missing. My hair does not air dry well. And I thought I saw something else. Oh, we have a brown brush. I'll put that in there too. Probably put away my straightener. Mm -hmm. Here's an idea I'm gonna roll with for a little bit. I'm gonna do everyday face up here, which is not gonna be organized because we don't really have anything. And then less frequent face slash body here and then hair products down here. Okay, ready? Ta-da! Okay, I made a couple changes. So this is all nightly stuff, and I found these little organizers to organize this a little bit better. So this is literally like just what was in my dop kit for the last month, what I was living off of, bare minimum, bare necessity. Then I went ahead and made this whole drawer skincare because I had more than I realized. I might find some sort of way to be able to keep these laying on their side, but straighten them up a little so that it's easy to read what everything is. But it's nice because I can see everything in one glance. And then I made this drawer, combined hair and body. So body stuff is in this little basket inside of it and hair stuff is in the front. And there's plenty of room to grow there. In fact, if I were to grow, I'd probably keep things organized a bit better and standing up. So that feels good. I actually did more than I thought I would be able to without having many organizers. Later today, we're gonna have to make everything 
pretty in here, but just found this. I, I prefer trios, but I've been reaching for CBD probably too often. So I wanna have, I could do that instead of my perfume, but these are things I use frequently. But when we get back today, I think I wanna hang this print above the toilet. And then I think that the runner is here for this whole area, which will be nice to make it feel a little more homey, but let's go see if I can do a little something for myself. I actually, let's see, I'm filming this on Wednesday and I haven't left besides walks since Saturday, just cause I've been overwhelmed with trying to get my life together. So it'll be nice to um, get out for a second. Well, I'm proud of myself for trying something, but it was not a great experience. Um, I feel terrible ever saying bad things about places, so I definitely won't say where I went, but uh, I hate when I feel like I'm being forced into like upping my services when I don't want to, and they did that, and then they were training someone that I don't think has ever done it before. It looks pretty bad. Um, I like the color I got. I think I was also just not optimistic because like I mentioned this was my first time getting out of the house in five days <laughs> and the first thing that she asked me when I sat down is if I was married and I didn't know how to answer and I got very sad and quiet and, and like 10 minutes later she was like are you okay and I was like yes <laughs> so that didn't go great um I probably need food so I microwave some veggie patties and put some ketchup on it that's probably Good indicator to how I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna regroup and we're gonna run some more errands and unpack the remaining boxes and we're gonna turn today around. We're gonna do something good today. I tried. Proud of myself for trying. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get ourselves together and one errand that I really am just stressed about is I can't get my prescription refilled in Texas. I know that we have some new people here, and if you're not familiar, I have a laundry list of health things, but the one that's been really bad this year is I got diagnosed with lupus, and my treatment for it is hydroxychloroquine, and whenever I don't get my refill, I get pretty sick. I'm a little bit stressed that they're not transferring it from California to Texas, so I'm gonna go to Walgreens and get that figured out, but it's next to Starbucks. We're gonna do a coffee first, we're gonna do Walgreens, we're gonna do a Target run, we're gonna come back, we're going to unbox the last boxes, and we're going to be Maybe not happy, and that's okay, but we're going to feel fulfilled in those tasks and in getting this place more in order. The little, little things. Cheers! We got a pumpkin cream cold brew, <laughs> and I'm so relieved Walgreens is able to transfer my prescription from California to Texas. They said Texas apparently is more strict with some substances, and it's more controlled, which is odd. I had no idea, but they're able to do it within an hour and a half great news because I had been <laughs> rationing my prescription and cut down from 300 milligrams to 200. But we used to be a pill and a half, so just one pill. And because I figured it'd be better to have lower dosage than no dosage if they couldn't fill it. So I can go back to my prescribed dosage, which is awesome. Um, I haven't been feeling great. And come to think of it, I wonder if it's because I changed my dosage. There's so many logistical things to figure out when you move states but we're gonna go to Target. This is so interesting. It's like a mini Target, like probably a fifth of the size of most Target locations, but I'm finding most of the essentials that I need, just not the bigger things like lamps and mugs and dog food container storage, but I have all the little stuff like body wash and tape and pens and I'll take it for now. It's easy to get in and out of. Aren't they fun? Oh, I'm so glad they're here, but also I'm so tired. <laughs> and we have side table number one. Let's see which way. This way. Ooh, how do we feel? Okay, let's move this for a sec. Both 
these over here. Maybe too much. Here's an update. So I combined the last two boxes into one, filled this up. This little wagon has been so helpful. I just fill it up with all the um, flattened boxes. Whenever it gets completely full, I drag it to the dumpster. I have vacuumed the whole house. So it is looking very clean. I cleaned the countertops, lit a candle, vacuumed, lighting change in here. So it's nice and clean. All this will be to be styled. Lighting change again. <laughs> I cleaned these counters and vacuumed in here. I'm loving the art in here. And it's feeling good. And guess what? I just got a text from my dad and he goes to Houston every week. And Austin's kind of on the way back home to where our home is. And he was like, can I drive through and get you dinner? And I'm so excited about it. So I knew today we could turn it around into a good day if we tried hard enough, got my prescription issue figured out. We were productive. We got the house somewhat in order. Max is bringing me toys. My cousin Christy brought him this hot chocolate and he loves it so much. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I know this was probably a very like montage, hyperlapse heavy video, but um, thank you for being along with me while I get my life in order. Oh man, I just cannot put into words how exhausted I am. So I need to do a little bit of computer work before my dad gets here and I'm going to sleep hard tonight. Thank you again to True Earth for sponsoring this video. Don't forget I have code Mikel10 for 10% off. I will have that link down below. Um, it's nice to have everything so fresh, so clean. I love y'all so much. Max is being the little snuggliest snuggly bug. I will see you in probably another vlog very soon. Still so much to do and we're gonna do it together. I love you, bye. So give me a sign, give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more, talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all.